Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another perfume review. And today I am going to review an iconic French perfume. I have waited for you guys to open this one. I bought this perfume because I needed a night perfume. This is such an iconic, classy, elegant perfume. Uh, the bottle is exquisite, uh, refined, beautiful perfume. I just can't wait to open with you, unbox this perfume, review together. I just can't wait, so let's start. So I bought L'Air du Temps by Nina Ricci Eau de Parfum. I needed a bed perfume, you know, before going to bed, I love to wear perfume. So also don't forget to check my other uh, videos. And I was really thinking about L'Air du Temps by Nina Ricci because this is a powdery, flowery, soft, warm perfume and there's definitely something calming, dreamy about this one. I decided to go for the Eau de Parfum because this is winter time and it's definitely a perfume for winter. I needed something warm, comfy, powdery and I know the Eau de Parfum is more powdery than the Eau de Toilette. So let's start also to unbox this beautiful uh, perfume. So this is uh, the box when you buy the perfume. Beautiful. Uh, this perfume is also one of the most beautiful uh, bottle ever. Let's open this beautiful uh, perfume. Uh, and I've waited like I think I received this one two weeks ago. Beautiful. Just also the box. Uh, I love this kind of very elegant perfume because everything is refined, everything is beautiful, sophisticated. This is really an experience when you buy this kind of perfume. Oh my god, beautiful, look at that. So this is the 50 uh, millimeters format. Oh my god. So this is the bottle, you see, so it's really beautiful. So first, uh, let's check the bottle because it's also part of the experience of this perfume. So look at this beautiful bottle. Uh, so uh, I love the design. This is a round shaped bottle with some uh, tree here, some stray. Everything is very rounded, very comfy. Uh, there is also the cap of this uh, perfume and on the cap it's beautiful detail. Uh, look at, you got the NR signature of Nina Ricci on the cap and the cap is a beautiful two doves uh, together. Look at how beautiful is it. You know, it's so, so beautiful. So this bottle in your bathroom uh, looks very, very French, very chic, very elegant. So first, let me introduce this perfume a little bit in details before smelling and trying together. So this perfume has been launched in 1948 just after World War II. The nose behind this perfume is Francis Fabron. Uh, this nose is an iconic nose. So when I say nose, I say the person who made, who built this perfume. He also made Givenchy l'interdit and he also made Balenciaga le 10. So beautiful, iconic perfume and like most of the after World War II perfume, this perfume smell a lot of aldehyde soapy. So this is a clean soapy aldehyde perfume, very warm on the dry down with something comfy and dreamy, but definitely a super powdery perfume. It's in the same family as Chanel number no. 5 for example or first. You're gonna smell definitely the aldehyde in this one. It's a warm spicy soft perfume with some fruity notes so that's why it's also warm. This is definitely a warm aldehyde. I love this perfume because this is an effortless well put together perfume. It's definitely a polish uh, perfume or a clean girl perfume what do I mean? I mean that it's effortless, meaning that if you don't know what to wear, if you don't know what perfume to wear today, but you really want to smell, I mean, feminine, chic, elegant, polished and clean, 
this is your perfume night or day perfume doesn't really matter you smell very very good with this one and you smell chic elegant creamy powdery perfume with some lily peach aldehyde spicy and fruity notes on the opening a definitely a refined feminine perfume and we're gonna smell together this one so try together let's try together this one mm. Mm. oh my god Oh la la, I love this one. This is definitely my bed uh, perfume. This is also a perfume I would wear also for work. Um, work. Mm, oh my god, yeah, it's definitely powdery clean. Definitely powdery clean and warm. This is a super warm perfume. I smell the fruity spices notes. I definitely also get the spices uh, notes of this perfume. Mm, yeah, so on the opening, it's spices. I smell the uh, clover actually. I really smell the clover. Mm, the neroli, uh, the peach, uh, fruity, a little bit of bergamot so on the opening it's very rounded meaning that it's clean powdery it's spicy it's fruity it's warm and a little bit aromatic but on the opening you definitely get the spiciness of this perfume the powdery so also the aldehyde appears uh, right away uh, in this perfume a little bit of woody note but definitely clean and powdery, beautiful perfume. I swear it smells amazing. On the middle, it's very more powdery. You get something much more powdery, with still with some spiciness on the dry down. It's still warm, don't get me wrong, but it's more clean and more powdery with the iris, the carnation, uh, the lily, the ylang ylang, the orchid and the rose. So very opulent, uh, very opulent flowers, the orchid, the rose, definitely cleaner more powdery mm, and the base of this perfume is more musty woodsy and numbery uh, with a sandal wood the musk the cedar the ambergris the vetiver and the bangs oh la la yeah and there's something a little bit mature a little bit sophisticated but i think it's a beautiful perfume also if you are in your 30s and if you're looking for something like i said clean polish a chic well put together you smell very chic very feminine you smell elegant and also you smell luxury you definitely something luxury in this perfume so definitely a winter perfume i mean the eau de parfum version is definitely winter it's opulent it's rich it's powdery you get some something clean there's nothing green light bright or airy it's definitely powdery and opulent uh, it's rich, a little bit sweet and warm also. So definitely a winter perfume. And this is, like I said, my bed perfume. Before, before going to bed, usually I spray perfume on my bed sheet. I spray perfume on my pyjama. I spray perfume on myself and I have definitely a routine, a bed routine perfume and I definitely love this one. Uh, why it is bed? Because the Neroli uh, in this perfume, I really smell the Neroli on the opening. It's warm, it's rich, but at the same time it's very comfy, very calming, uh, very something, yeah, very powdery. But definitely a perfume you can also wear at the office, a beautiful work perfume, like I said, it's polished, it's clean. Uh, nothing is loud in this perfume, nothing is aggressive or tacky, it's definitely an elegant, classy, uh, old money perfume, there's definitely something old money in this one. So what about the projection and the longevity? So I'm talking about the eau de parfum, I think the eau de toilette is a little bit more airy and breezy. Uh, but the eau de parfum is definitely, uh, for me, on my skin, a beast. Meaning it's seven hours at least on my skin, a little bit more on clothes. Actually, we'll say like more 12 hours on uh, if you spray uh, that on your coat or on your clothes. So uh, projection is pretty strong, pretty intense, long lasting perfume also, seven hours. So it's definitely a rich, opulent uh, winter perfume. So I made a review of Nina Ricci, L'Air du Temps, beautiful perfume, the Eau de Parfum version. To resume, this is a beautiful, clean, aldehyde perfume, warm, spicy, with some fruity notes on the opening. It's rich, it's opulent, it's powdery, 
beautiful, chic, elegant, well put together, effortless French uh, elegance. I love, definitely a must have uh, perfume. I love this one. Uh, this is my new bed perfume. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget also to check my other videos. I made a lot of reviews. I also made lifestyle, fashion and beauty videos. So if you love a French lifestyle, don't forget also to check my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to leave a comment. Uh, I will be very interested if you love this perfume if you wear this perfume what do you love about this one is it like me the fact it's comfy powdery dreamy do you think it's a little bit too mature too sophisticated to wear this one so don't forget to leave a comment and I see you very soon for another perfume video bye